Meantime, the Senate has called on the federal government to apprehend the perpetrators of the horrific killing of military personnel in the Okuama community in Delta State on March 14 and bring them to book. Last Thursday, some senior army officers and their men who were on a peace mission to the troubled area were reportedly ambushed and killed by armed youths. The upper legislative chamber equally called for the recruitment of more policemen so that the military would not be dragged into civil martyrs. These were some of the resolutions reached at plenary after a brief debate on two motions by Senators Abdulaziz Aradua and Ede Dafinone. They were not only killed, but their bodies were also decapitated. The unfortunate incident occurred when the troops responded to a distress call after the communal crisis between the Okwama and Okoloba communities, both in Delta State, recognizes that the tragic incident involving the attack on military personnel from the 181 amphibious battalion during a peace mission to Okwama community in Delta State underscores the urgent need for justice and accountability without resorting to retribution. Worried that the understaffing of the Nigerian police has made Nigeria's military to take over internal policing duties such as organized crime, oil theft, communal crisis, kidnapping, banditry, and other po policing responsibilities. Lawmakers, for they described the act as provocative, saying that the incident poses danger to the innocent indigents of the communities in the region. What happened in Delta was not an accident. It was a designed and well orchestrated effort to kill our military men. And it was done in a very barbaric way, very bestial. Mr. President, those who did that deserve to be condemned. But I believe that this Senate and indeed the National Assembly join uh, other colleagues. And I think everyone in this Senate and across our country in condemning the very sad and dastardly act uh, that was committed against officers and men of our country's uh, military. It's not every day, even in a war situation, it's not every day a country suffers this kind of loss, even in a war, even during wartime. Mr. President, Nigeria, this is crunch time for our country, and we must always ensure that whatever thing that we're doing, we must be tolerant with one another. A situation where this number of soldiers will be killed in one swap is highly regrettable. Soldiers are meant to protect the life and property of our citizenry. And even the communities themselves are supposed to have tolerance in dealing with such issues. In his remarks, the Senate President, Gatsu Lampabio, advised the military to carry out a thorough investigation to ascertain that those who murdered soldiers in the region are Nigerians. Akbabio expressed doubt if the culprits are from the Niger Delta. We are not at war, even in a period of war, to lose such number of personnel. No community will go to the extent of doing this kind of thing. I don't think they are from Niger Delta. So I think the first point should be that we should first establish the, the, the culprits who committed this crime. We must take it seriously. Supposing they are not from Niger Delta, supposing they are not even Nigerians, and we now come and talk about giving relief materials to uh, people, have a, people should uh, for the consequences of their crimes. I will not support relief material.